Hey everyone, Lee, we're here with this month's version of the 412. Four minutes to recognize one copper's teammate and cover two big topics. So on to this month's hats off, which goes to Adam Laskazeski, an operations team leader in Mayfield, Australia. Now, when I was at the Mayfield plant last month, I got a chance to recognize Adam in front of his teammates as a winner of one of our Australia team's values awards. Now, this is where our Australian leadership group call out individuals for embodying any one of our values of people, planet, and performance. And it just so happened that Adam was recognized for embodying all three. Now, on the people front, Adam's always willing to lend a helping hand to other departments. Adam cares about the planet by always being conscious about emissions when transferring products. And finally, from a performance standpoint, he's always taken the time to talk with other departments to learn what's happening around the plant, helping improve overall team communication and the performance of Mayfield. Additionally, his positive attitude and collaborative nature is making an impact on others. Great job, Adam. Sorry I didn't get a chance to say hi to you when I was in Mayfield as you were either out that day or working a different shift, but I wanna convey my thanks for being an outstanding member of the Coppers team. Now onto the first of the two big topics for this month, travel, travel, travel. Already this year, I've spent a good bit of time on the road, first visiting Australia for the first time since 2019, and then spending a week on the road in the Southeast US visiting five of our facilities. And if I had to summarize my main takeaways from the eight different locations I visited on those two trips, it would be the following. First, we continue to invest across our facilities to increase capacity, improve efficiency, lower cost, and improve our safety and environmental footprint. Now, I was impressed at the number of projects that have been completed in the past year that provide improvements to coppers in so many ways. I was able to witness our team commissioning the new posty barker and sorter in Longford, Australia, which will reduce safety hazards significantly. I saw the new grinding mill and storage tank in Rock Hill, which increases our production capacity. I saw the new dry kiln in action at Leland while the pad was being prepared for the next one to be installed this quarter, which will lower our costs. I saw the new drip pads and transfer deck improvements also at Leland, which will improve our environmental controls. I saw the tie sorter improvements in Florence that will improve efficiency and also have follow on safety benefits. And I saw the mini excavator at Utahville, which improves our safety processes for loading trams for the dry kiln. Now my second takeaway from my trips were, safety is still top of mind for everyone. I got to meet with the safety committee at each site and each committee felt that safety culture was trending in a positive direction at their site. You know, the biggest challenge most deal with is the challenge of staying fully staffed, which has an impact on forced overtime and morale, which increases our safety exposure. Now our C&E group is actively working on different options to bring relief, but it was encouraging to hear our people speak to their empowerment to speak up and work safely. My third takeaway from the trips, we need to invest more in our frontline workers whether it's more regular yard grading to make it easier and safer for our loader operators, or improvements to our locker rooms, lunch rooms, and workspace for our people at our sites, or looking at improvements to the way we reward our workforce for their valued contributions to our success, we need to challenge ourselves further on how well we're living up to our value of people, because at Coppers, how you treat people matters. And finally, the fourth and final takeaway from my trips, excitement abounds for what the future holds for Coppers. At every site, people were excited about the company's performance and wanted to know what the future has in store for the company. Now, I was able to share a little bit of that, and I'll continue to do more as the year goes on. But suffice it to say, times are good at Coppers, and I and the entire leadership group are continuing to work on the plans for how we can continue to take that momentum into the future. The second big topic this month is our announcement last week that our board increased our quarterly dividend by a cent, and we're now paying seven cents per share to our shareholders each quarter. Now that's a 17% increase in the second straight year. We've increased our dividend after reinstituting it in February of 2022 for the first time in seven years. Now paying a sustainable dividend that we can consider increasing on an annual basis is part of our long-term capital allocation strategy to return capital to shareholders. Potential future increases will be considered in light of our other priorities for cash, which includes debt reduction, investing back in the business, M&A, and share repurchases. Now, I know a number of Copper's team members are shareholders through our employee stock purchase program, and you can look for your dividend payment to be deposited into your account on March 25th. Now, that's all I have for this time, everyone. Thanks for all you continue to do for our customers, our team members, our shareholders, and our communities. Until next month, take care and stay safe, everyone.